Hey guys, Jason here. Um, today I'm going to work a little bit on this silo that I started building a few months ago and kind of stopped. I got the shed on and got the shed weathered up the way I wanted it. I really liked the way the weathering came out on the shed. But I haven't gone any further with weathering the concrete or weathering any of the uh, apparatus on the top. So I've got uh, a little bit of work to do. I've got to build another one of these uh, little towers here. You can see it's not glued down. I've got some more piping that I need to paint up, and get it glued in place, and uh, then I'm gonna get started on doing some weathering on this, all right? So it's gonna be a bit of an experiment. I'm not really sure how to get this concrete aged, so I'm gonna try a few different things. So this little tool here is one of my favorite tools, just a little fingernail file. I use this on a okay, lot of Okay, so I've gotten stuff. this first little uh, surge bin or whatever it is uh, fixed up, ready to go. Okay, I've got the uh, last few pieces for the top of my gypsum facility ready to go put one quick coat on them already I'm gonna put a second coat on so my experiment here on aging this concrete is not working out quite the way I wanted it to I streaked it with some rubbing alcohol and some India ink really don't like the effect that I got so I think I'm gonna to turn to some light chalk and see what I can do also it kind of see if I can show you here uh, you can see there's spots on the roof now, so I'll probably have to go back and redo that to get rid of those spots. So we'll see where it goes from here. I'm going to try some chalk next. Got all the roof stuff put together too. So try, try again. Alright, so I really wasn't liking the direction it was going. Uh, I streaked the silos with um, one of these little foam brushes with the rubbing alcohol and the um, India ink and it really gave it too streaky of a look. I tried to um, use some chalk uh, to kind of cut the lines because it really left too visible of the lines. That didn't really work either. So I just took a cotton ball um, and I got a little bit of the uh, mix on it here and just streaked it uh, with this. And that really cut out the uh, the hard lines that we were seeing earlier, that I was seeing earlier. Now it looks much, much more natural, much better lines, um, vertical uh, lines. Um, so I think that's that's working a little bit better. And it left a little pitting in these areas where I think it would be darker anyway. So I think I'm heading in the right direction. we will play with a little bit of chalk still and see how that looks. Lightly rubbing that in there. I think that doesn't really add a whole lot to it, but it does give it a little something. Very, very subtle. But it definitely helps it look a little older. So I'm going to keep working and uh, update you when I can. Alright, so right now I'm using the lightest color chalk I have on a medium bristle brush. Uh, this is called Ash. Uh, it's a really pretty light gray and I'm using it to really just tone down some of the darker areas and give it a little bit of variation in color and it's working it's getting kind of a little bit of a streaky look it's it's really close actually in color to to the concrete the aged concrete that I use so it's really subtle but it definitely is giving it uh, a chalky appearance so really cutting not that there was really any gloss in the paint, but it really cuts down uh, any gloss that came out of the, um, the use of the uh, alcohol. It really just kind of tones some of those streaks that I already put in with the alcohol down. So it's working good. It doesn't really give it much color, but it definitely helps with a little bit of a uh, age look. Alright, so up to now I've been using this kind of real light gray ash color. Uh, it's been really subtle. I'm going to mix in just a little bit of this Dust Bowl Brown to it uh, to give it just a little bit more uh, color, a little bit more key. 
Just mix a little bit of that in. Got three different brushes I'm using. This one's really stiff. Cut down. This one's kind of stiff, but a little bit pressure. And this one's really kind of loose and fluffy. So I'm using a combination of those to get everything together. All right, so some of the streaking that I got out of the um, rubbing alcohol, I'm able to take down with this little bit darker color so I can come into some of the areas and just kind of get in there and brush some variation into the color and in downward strokes fairly randomly. This isn't necessarily streaking off the top. This is just to give it uh, a look of um, running over time. So you can see, possibly see right here, there's somewhat of a line right there that's left from the um, cotton ball that I use. So if I go over that and spot it, I can make that essentially disappear. It gives it some depth of color because these spots are a little bit darker than the other colors. A couple other things I could do is come back with the light brush and streak that loose stuff off.